Hello, welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with Marvin. I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And in today's video, I really just want to talk to you about balance, right? That's the primary goal that we should be striving for every day. And what do I mean by balance? Work-life balance, home-life balance, relationship balance, social life balance, right? Fun balance, exercise, right? Fitness balance, food balance. It, it's, it's all one thing. It all has to be in perfect alignment for you to have an amazing experience here as an eternal spiritual soul, right? That's the goal is for us to get ourselves back into balance. In our lives right so that we can continue to experience what we're meant to experience with ease and grace right and to learn the lessons and to accept the teachings from these experiences unconditionally with love no matter what the experience happens to be right it's not about labeling it good or bad although there is good and there's bad right there's a balance there so let's let's talk about what that means <clears throat> not just for yourself, but for the universe. Everything is polarity, right? There's a South Pole and there's a North Pole. There's up and there's down. There's yin and there's yang in spirituality. And, and along those lines, we, we kind of forget that if one thing is out of balance, if our yin is out of balance, then our yang's out of balance, right? That's, that's the, defi the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine, right? How are you showing up today? Are, are you more masculine, more on your masculine? I can do this, I can do that, I, you know, troubleshooting, problem solving, no problem. Or are you a divine feminine, a nurturer, multitasker, you know, empath? Which one are you showing up as, right? Because inevitably we're showing up as either one or the other. trick is how do we show up as both right on an even keel where we're acting from space of unity and balance within ourselves our our divine masculine and our divine feminine feminine are on the same page right and you're using them intermittently instead of being in one all the time right and having to switch and having to be mindful about switching to the other it, it should be an automatic thing, right? And that's what we're striving for on our spiritual journey. How do you get there? And why is that important, right? Because right now, the energies, this was just, you know, one day past the, new, the full moon in February, 2023, energies are high. And, and it's inviting you to say, hey, you know, instead of being dominant male today, and instead of being passive, nurturing female today why don't you try to be on an even keel find that balance right fly with the birds but ground with the trees at the same time i had my mindfulness meditation this morning with my meetup group here's a link to to my meetup group if you'd ever want to join us it's every mondays at 8 a.m eastern time and what came in for me during that meditation was I was flying high, right? Flying with the birds, I was seeing everything up in my spiritual self, in my astral body. But I really had a distinct voice say, you need to ground, you need to come, you need to have one foot in the air and one foot in the, on the ground, right? That's where the evenness is, right? Stay in my beautiful, um, emotional, uh, loving state, right? Of being of service. 
ground myself in that I have to be of service to myself as well, right? So where's that balance? How do I keep myself right in the fine line in between being who I want to be and who I am as an eternal spiritual soul, powerful, right? Being, shining light with the practicality of having to navigate the matrix, right? To be here teaching a Qigong class um, at, at fulldistance.com, but also being mindful that I'm surrounded by other beings that, that aren't on the same, that may not be, right, in their elevated states where they see things differently than I do. And I need to be respectful of that, right? I don't need to lower myself to participate in it. I can just observe it and be the observer and show kindness and compassion and understanding for them and where they are, right, on their journey. It's their journey. And, and they're choosing to stay in a certain polarity in, in, in a masculine versus a feminine or in a, you know, in a bad place versus a good place. And that's, that's on them. But I can show up and be right in the middle, right? Be that neutral because I'm in both. I'm high on life and I'm grounded in reality. That's balance. You understand how that works now? It's just about knowing that, yeah, we, we can be, you know, up here all the time, right? And that's what we need, right? As light warriors, we need to be shining our light because right now, this world, this matrix that we're in, this plane of existence, it's out of balance. Right now, the darkness is up here and the light's really down here. So it's kind of like that seesaw, right? We need to start tipping the scale and bringing that seesaw to balance. And you say, no, no, we want to be better than the, the darkness. We want to shut it out. We want to get rid of it. That's not the universal law. That's not the law of the universe. The law of the universe is balance, and polarity, yin and yang. So the dark, darkness has to be there. And the light has to be there. Right? They have to. We have our shadow aspects. We have our divine feminine. We have our divine masculine. Those are polarities, opposites. Right? What's a twin flame? A twin flame is your opposite. Right? So the universe is telling us it's not about shutting out the darkness, right? Because we're better than it and we can defeat it, right? That's what the darkness wants. That's what's keeping the darkness way up here and the light down, down there, out of balance. It's about seeing the darkness and going, I see you and I love you. And we're gonna bring you back into balance with the light because there's too much darkness right now. We need to even it out. We need to be in an even playing field. If we're able to do that in this human form, just to bring it back into balance, this reality, this matrix, this, this plane of existence changes. It changes. There's, there's no if, ands, or buts about it in my mind, right? That's my truth. So what am I doing to stay in balance? I, I know that I'm, I'm doing the spiritual work, but I'm also living here and I, and I, and I want to get my multiple streams of income going. I want to get my career going. So I need to balance my, my spirituality, which is what I do every morning, every day, but I also need to ground myself and be around the people that I'm meant to serve, but not saying I have how to, you know, I have to serve them. How do I show up? Where am I in my balance? Right? If I'm balanced in my masculine and feminine, if I'm balanced in my spirituality and my groundedness, being the airy fairy and being it, you know, feet planted on the ground, I'm stable. Right? And that that balance brings everything in my experience into balance. Everything, people I, I meet and I connect with, 
are also going to be balanced now instead of one in their lower extremities versus their higher or one that's too high and not balanced with their low. It was a clear message today that I wanted to share. How do you get yourself into balance? You realize that you're out of balance. That's, that's it. You realize that you're out of balance. For me, I, I just, you know, I didn't, it just wasn't a realization for me. I didn't know it. That's why I'm sharing it now because we all need to, to, to inspire each other, especially on a spiritual path. But we have to recognize that on top of all the other things that we have going on with our tower moments and our dark nights of the soul and this and that situation and the experiences, we have to maintain a clear balance in that. So if you find yourself that you're rushing to work and doing work and, and, and still trying to get your meditation in and trying to, trying to do this, right? And you're trying so hard, but you keep giving up, right? And then plopping back on the couch and turning on Netflix. You're not in balance, right? There's something that, that, that you need to find to get you in straight line with what it is that you need to be doing for yourself to keep yourself high, high, high in the clouds and keep yourself grounded in reality and in nature and with the other souls that are here. You can't avoid them. They're not gonna go away. But the more you're balanced, the less that you'll get of way too much of one thing versus another, right? The less those negative experiences will be there because you're always in balance, so it's gonna have to be balanced. You're gonna have to have a little bit of negative balanced with a little bit of positive, right? And if you have a lot of negative, then you have to be balanced in, in your positive. You gotta bring your positive up higher, right? So that you bring that lower up higher. Now you're, now you're back on that seesaw. Now you're just straight looking at the other person on the other side, your beautiful soul. It's going, hey, isn't this fun? Stay here. Walk this line with me, the straight and narrow line of balance. And I know that it's not easy. I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm not suggesting that it is. But how do you stay in balance with that, right? You realize that it's an experience you're meant to have, right? And if it's going too far in one direction, what shift can I make in my mentality, in my emotional state, in my spiritual state, in my creative state, and, and in my mental state, to bring me back into balance, to pull that negative up into alignment with the positive, or bring that positive into alignment with the negative, so that it's not about, you know, I know this is difficult, I'm, I'm having to process it myself, but it's not a bad thing to be too high, right? But, but then you're out of this, then you might as well ascend, right? Because we're here for, to learn a lesson, to experience what's going on with love and compassion for ourselves and creating, you know, situations that, that evolve us spiritually. Because that's the next level. This is our training ground. This is a school. Right? So it's time to balance your, your play time with your work time, with your education time, with your downtime, right? With your family time and with your you time. Got to balance that out, right? When you're spending too much time socializing, you're not spending enough time with yourself. You're out of balance. So stay in balance. If you have any questions about this or want more more information, right, on how to process all this and how to keep your life in balance, I can certainly help you do that. I am a spiritual transformation coach. Here's the link to my website. It, it's it really is so simple that it's difficult. But that's 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 it, right? That's how we balance this out. We take the good with the bad and get a beautiful learning experience from it, right? Not a, not a bad experience, not a good experience, just an experience. That's balance. So stay in balance every day, every day. You have to be conscious about it, and think about it, 
and, and put yourself in check, right, when you need to. And if you need help, there's certainly help available to you. And if you like the contents of this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm truly blessed. I continue to stay in balance, right? I do my spiritual balance. I do my, my mental balance. Now, now I need to do my exercising physical balance, which I've been doing a lot more because I was out of balance there. So get in balance, my friends, and have an amazing day.